All right, so today we are actually going to be um, creating a, a YouTube channel and we're going to be uh, I'm going to be walking you through on how to create a YouTube channel and everything you need to know on creating a YouTube channel and all that. And here I'm with my friend and we're going to be uh, doing it together. So the first thing we are going to do is to go to youtube.com, YouTube. I'm gonna come back to hit this place. Go to youtube.com. But before then, make sure you are logged into an email address. Any email address you want to use, make sure you are logged in in that browser is logged into the email address. Then come to youtube.com. So once we are in youtube.com, I think it's still loading. What we're gonna do first. Is to actually come here and click on um, this icon here can you see this icon once I click on this icon that is the email icon you can see where the right create a channel once you log in you can see this icon this icon is actually your email icon okay let me go back to another email so you understand this is something but let's just use this one once you click on this icon you're gonna see create a channel so click on create a channel So here, now why are we creating a channel? Because some people, let me go, go back and show you something. Some people, when I started my first YouTube channel, what I did, and I did wrong, and I don't want you to do the same thing, is this. I, so what I did wrong back then was that I, <clears throat> I came to this place, I logged into my YouTube channel, and I click on this plus icon, which is how to where to upload your video. Plus icon, I, I start uploading. Once you start uploading your video, YouTube automatically create a channel for you with your name, the, the name you use in your email address. That is the local of creating a YouTube channel. Just imagine now, as I come to this place now, and I click on this plus icon, I click on upload video, I will then start uploading my video. They start uploading your video automatically with this name here. Right? But no don't create a channel like that just come back here click on this icon and click on create a channel then change the name let's say in this channel i want to call this channel um let me craft up a name all right so let me assume i want to call this channel achievers world so i'm going to hit the create uh, icon now if this name is taken it's going to show me that the name is taken so well, let's just create achievers world Mm, it's loading. You can see Achievers World. We have, we've created a channel, and the name of the channel is Achievers World. So I have to customize this channel. I have to do everything, uh, customize the channel, and do every single thing I need to do to make sure that the channel is up and running, right? So it's like this. The first thing I'm going to do is to upload a, a, an image here. I'm going to go back to another, another, another uh, email address now and show you a sample. Let me go back to this place. This is another email address, I think. We're going to be also creating a, an, a YouTube channel with this particular email address. Let's. So what we're going to do, back to this place, Achievers World, is first give our channel an icon, like a logo. That is going to appear so i'm going to go back to this place let's use for images.google.com i can go to images.google.com i can look for uh, pizza bill so let me look at pizzas if i can get a very good images at pizzas so if you couldn't get let's just check images i can look for achievers let me type the word achievers here Achievers. <coughs> okay, I can maybe this image is quite okay, it's fine. This little boy, okay, let me see this one. This one is okay, so I'm gonna use this one now, right? So I can click on free download, then um, it's downloaded. Pixels, blah blah blah. So let's look at the image, let's open it. That is image here right 
So let me go back here and I'll upload it. I'm going to click on this icon and I'll upload, go ahead and upload the image. So the thing loaded to this place on the branding icon. In the branding, we're going to upload the logo. That is the YouTube uh, logo. Then we're going to upload the banner and we're going to upload the watermark. I'm going to be explaining to you each of them what it means. The logo is this one that appears here. And then the banner is going to appear on the whole of your YouTube banner page at the front, which I'm going to show you how to create the banner. Meanwhile, the watermark is what is going to be appearing on all your videos. Where you, you, can, you can see most of the watermark will be like subscribe now. Click it or subscribe. It's going to appear at small icon that you're going to see any video you, you make, you're going to see that in work throughout the video, something like that. So let's go ahead and click on upload uh, the, the logo now. Upload. We've opened a logo. I don't know the name of this downloaded page, but let's look for the name. All right. That is the image, right? right? So I'm going to open it on this loading. Okay, that is it here. I think it captured not everywhere. So I'm going to drag this one to the top. Let me make this one come down a little bit. Then part of the leg, shift it a little bit more. Boom. We've captured basically everything. So I'm going to click on done. Done. So you can see our logo is uploaded. So the next thing for us to do now is our banner and um, our watermark. So this will take me, we we'll have to go to Canva. So I have to go now to Canva and we're going to use Canva to create our banner and our watermark. So I'm going to go to canva.com. All right, so we are logged into Canva and uh, first and foremost, what you need to do, if you don't have an account on Canva, just create an account on Canva. Click on create account. It's quite easy to create an account. Sign up with your, your with your email address and your real name. That is just all. You can use Canva to create any design, any kind of design you want to create, be it logo, be it banner, be it any kind of design. You can use Canva to achieve that. So now I'm going to come here and click on, um, I, I can search for YouTube. If I type YouTube here, YouTube, I think network is quite bad. So they're going to give me option. You're going to see, uh, let it load so you can see it. You can see YouTube channel act. Can you see it here? YouTube channel act. That is one we are actually using, not YouTube channel logo, no, but YouTube channel act. I'm going to click on that. So that is what we want to do. If you come to come to this place, this is this place is this banner is actually called that is a channel art. The YouTube channel art is also a YouTube banner. Okay, you can see two oh two thousand and forty eight by one one blah blah blah. Let's go back to Canva. Nope. Okay, that is it here. So we can actually use free template or can use the ones that the designs that are already here the one people are already using like different designs probably make sure some changes anyone you want to use this one is paid for paid users this one is free so you want to hover over it you see the one that is paid or free so you can check and probably you see the ones that is paid or the one that is free so in my own case i'm going to be actually using the Creating it from scratch. I'm going to click on the blank one. I don't want to use anybody's own. So I'm going to be creating mine from scratch. Okay. It's loading. So right now it's loaded fully. So if I come back here, I'm going to open a new tab. And the new tab, I'm going to type like YouTube channel out template. Then I can click YouTube channel out template download. So, or let me click on it. You can type YouTube. Uh, what is it called again? Either YouTube channel add template download or you download. Um, let me change the name so you can see the same thing. If you come here, you see that what is written here is banner image, right? I can write YouTube banner image download. See the same thing we're talking about. Let me remove channel art YouTube banner size stamp download. 
you see similar thing is going to come up if i click on let's look at this one now let's see if we're going to see a uh, great design let's check if they're going to see we're going to have it here okay what we are looking for is this here this thing this what we, this kind of thing is what we want to download something like this alternatively let me get it from here the former one i'm going to click on this can you see them here these are what we're looking for so i'm going to actually click on one let me open this particular one so i want to download any of these but i prefer this one or this anyone any of them is okay this one is still okay so i can click on download image or save image as then download the image i can call it channel apt channel apt and it's loaded so i'll go back to canva i will come when i get to canva i'll click on upload then i want to upload that image i have downloaded and click to upload then locate the image it's called channel art channel art on the download so trying to find it let me look for it manually on the download Okay, you can see it here. I'll open it. I'll click on open. It's going to load. Then you can see here it's loaded. That is it here. Then I, I think I have it here before. Let me look for it. I should have it. Look at another one here. Another color. Let me open it. Uh, I think I saw one. Okay, you can see this is another one here. I can use this one. Then this is another one here. So I have, I have them here before. So whichever one I can click on, let me say I want to use this. You can see it here. That is it here. If I remove this one, let me go back to use this new one I downloaded now. If I open it, the same thing, you can see it. The same thing. So I'm going to be explaining to you how it works, right? So I will drag this, this thing to the end. Then drag this one to the end then drag this one to the top then this one here i'll make sure it matched very well so once it have matched i can come here to reduce transparency uh okay i'm gonna do this one later on when, I, when i'm done putting what i want to put here i am going to reduce the transparency now i can come here to this transparency button and you can see i can reduce the transparency is reducing if I remove it completely, come back to white. If I increase it, I can increase it a little bit to uh, provided I'm seeing what I want to do, right? Uh, I'm seeing that I want to pull this and this. I want to work on this interface. Now, this is what we're going to be doing. We actually want to work on here, this place. Now, this place is for mobile users. Mobile users are going to be seeing anything within this place. When they open your YouTube channel, they'll be seeing this place. Now, this one is for desktop users. Desktop users are going to be seeing this one too, right? And TV users is going to be seeing all of them, right? TV users. Now, let me, let's start by actually putting what we want to put. Let me, what is the name of our channel again? Let me go back to our channel. Our channel name is uh, Achievers World. Okay. Let me go back and I want to put our channel name here, test logo. So I'll come back and click on test. <coughs> We can use the default test uh this thing. let me bring this one here uh we'll just bring it here i'll drag it and make sure it's here so i want to call this just want to do a very uh brief um okay but before i put this thing i actually want to give us a, give this our channel a very very good background before I put this one, let's go back again because we're missing something here. Let's give it a very good background. I'm going to remove this one. So let's put it, a, let's go to background and give our channel a good background. Can come here. 
let's say this no this is very very bad so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna change our background to black so I'm gonna go back here and change this background to black let's look for black this black so having done this the next thing is actually for us to now bring this thing this background here I can lock it now I have locked this background I can't change it you can see now when I mean lock you can see this place that is key that is where I locked it I can't be able to change it now if I unlock it see what is gonna happen if I unlock it I can be able to make changes here okay so but I'm gonna lock it then and if I unlock it I can probably reduce the transparency but let's just leave it like this it's pure black and lock it and go back to our upload then go back and actually bring this one in then here we can then drag this to the end then you can see that our, our black has gone right yeah it has gone now here i can actually reduce the transparency of this one now down you can see our black is visible down but the thing is that i can actually see what i want to do i can see the interface here of what i want to do if i bring the, in, the, the thing to you can see i can see it again well let's just leave it at this level here so i will leave it at this level i can lock it or i can leave it unlocked but the why is better to lock it is so that you won't change it you won't be able to uh make mistake of shaking it because if i leave it now i can be able to shake this thing now you can see i've shifted it the the movement have shifted so let me lock it so now since i've locked it what i'm going to do now is i have to come back here and put in my test and elements so the first thing is test let me put in test i'll use this test i can call our channel name again sorry is uh where is it again achievers word achievers word so we'll call this achievers sorry i want it to be in capital letter all true So I'll make sure that whatever I'm putting must be within this space. It must not pass this space, right? It must be within this jurisdiction. Shouldn't pass it. Then let me drag it up because at the end we might discover that within this some of these templates are not very very perfect. But if I just hope this one is perfect, so I want to change the test color to white. So I come here, change the test color to white white boom make it bold highlight it i don't know why we can't make this one bold i would want us to make it bolder maybe this is this let's let me check if there is color this white let me use this one here this is i can reduce this okay so let's leave it like this achieve us word then the next thing is actually for us to add some elements add one or two things there so let me take go back here and get some elements i'll click on more elements here at the top so i'm going to add this first element here okay no not this one let me add this one this one i'll add them two two of them i've added it i'll move this one here and move this one here top and down i'll drag this one here drag it towards this piece just to make it look beautiful right make it look small this one same thing right 
So I'm going to expand this one to reach here, and this one is okay. So I'm going to change the test of the elements now. Uh, let's say we want to use this color. Not exactly what I wanted, but this one is closer. Okay. But let me see if I can get what I want. Very the perfect thing I want. Get this. Okay, let's use this. Then come here. We're gonna change this one to same color. Same color and expand this one a little bit then having done this next thing let's just add one or two tests below it um so i'm gonna add another element another um, what is it called another yes. test <coughs> So I can add this subheading test here. I can bring this one down. Sorry, let me bring it down. Somewhere around here. I can say this one for TV users. Um, become or be your own boss. Be your own boss since what I want to do is actually in line with this I can say be your own boss drag this here is border bring it down a little bit then I can put in some maybe icon like Facebook icon and the rest let me go back to upload let me check if we have any icon like that, like Facebook icon, maybe we have WhatsApp icon, if we have any other icon of that nature. We don't have FB icon here, but let's make use of, let's say WhatsApp icon, you can download, you can actually download and upload Facebook icon, whichever icon you want to do. Let me, if I want to include my image, I can include my image, but I don't want to do that, okay? So I can just come here and upload the WhatsApp icon I saw earlier. I can go back and upload it. You can see it's here, WhatsApp. So I'll drag it down. Oh, sorry. I'll make it smaller, not like this. I'll come to this edge side. I'm reduce this very well, then bring it down a little bit, bring this one up, then drag it to this place. Sorry, drag it to this section and make it very small, very small. Good, it's still very big, like here, but we can just leave it here like this. Then I want to put this one at uh, this section or let's let just leave it at this section then i can put in facebook put in other twitter and the rest of them so let's say we since we don't have facebook icon here let me just add an element or i can add a youtube icon let's add this youtube icon you can come here minimize the youtube icon very well then come here and click on this section here i want to leave it at this section now you can see that here for mobile users then let's come here you can see twitter here twitter icon i will minimize it very small then bring it to this side make th make this whatsapp icon small then push it to the edge and pull this one 
and that is just it we are done with this uh, our channel art so all I need to do now is to actually unlock this one unlock this one once I have unlocked it I'm going to come here and go to the transparency and make it zero and boom you can see I'm going to lock it again we have gotten what we wanted this is our channel act I will click on come here and click on download so download and it's downloading boom it's downloaded it's called channel act png so once it's loaded or oh, let me check the exact one okay, it's called i think it is it mm, no good that is it here that is it add a heading dot png so let's go back here to a channel ad section and upload it. I'll come back to this place and click on upload. Then come here, click on look for the what we just downloaded. I think this should be it. Let's check. No. Let's look for it. Okay, that is it. We'll click on upload. Now you can see that let's look at it here tv views you can see this for tv views you're going to view anything here now if you come scroll down to this part you can see that it matched exactly what you want this section they are showing you for mobile you can see viewable on all devices whether mobile anything you're <coughs> using whatever you want to use any device can view it from this section like this that's why I see here now this desktop user desktop user are going to see this part now mobile users have seen this part and this part now we actually got this in perfect accurate now this one is for TV TV viewers uh, are going to view this side this this section we put here now desktop users are going to view this one that you see here so now anyone who is viewing maybe with laptop or stuff like that person can view this section you can see where we have targeted is actually um, this section like this if I want I can bring in this icon here be your own boss under this place under this place and bring all this icon this on this side so that it can actually um, so that uh, what is it called TV viewers uh, desktop viewers can view it let's do that again and change it so I'm not going to I'm going to click on cancel and let's go back here and edit what we've done. I'll go back to Canva. Cancel. So here I will unlock then increase the transparency again. Then I want this to come here since we we'll have space we we'll go what we wanted. Then since it's here now, I want this ones to come to this section. This one can come to this place. WhatsApp can come under it. Then I want this ones to come to this side. So we're going to go back to upload it again since we are done. Mm, look for it. No, this is not the one. I think this is it. Good. Let's check now. You can see that everything entered perfectly well for this one entered for uh, Achievers World. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. Entered for mobile views why this section entered for desktop views click on done boom we've gotten very beautiful banner then the next thing is actually our video watermark so the watermark will appear on your videos in the right hand corner of the video player so right now let's go ahead and click our uh, create our um watermark see on canva I'm going to go back to Canva. So I'm coming here to session here again. I'm going to type watermark. 
uh, let me look for YouTube. YouTube. Okay, I'm still looking for. Alright, so right now we want to create our watermark. All I need to do is to come back here and come to create a design. Under create a design, and uh, I'll come to this section that is showing um, customize size. Then I'm going to put 150 by 150 pixel. Create a new design. Boom. Okay, you can see it's loading. Now it brought us to the design page. So what we need to do now is to actually change the background color. We must always have a background color we want to use in our channel. Steady. Which background <coughs> color do you want to use in your channel? All right. I'm going to change this color from white to black. This background color. So I'm going to come here. Or oh, let's check this color if it's okay. Mm, channel black is cool black is cool right so come back here to let's say um let me show you some things so here i want to kind of put test test so I can type something like click here to make it bolder or make it bold a bit reduce it to fifty or fourteen, it's okay. Let's look for elements. Or upload under upload let's look for subscribe icon we can still find that under element but I think I have uploaded it so I'm looking for it under upload but network is quite slow boom that is our channel uh, watermark so I'm gonna click on download we've created the watermark just added the arrow from here under elements so I added the arrow and that is just it. Click on download. Trying to make everything short so that you won't be con confused. Click here too. So I'll go back to this place to upload it. I'll click on upload. And then let's look for the name. Click here. That is it. No, this is not it. Click here, think we should look for it. This, this, it is really another one, but that, that is not the one we just did now. Okay, that is it here. Oh no, that is you not know, it. I don't know where it is. Click here, think this is it here. Good. Exactly matched our watermark this thing perfect save You can see it here that is how it's gonna appear on your YouTube Then this other one is gonna be your video and it's gonna appear like this on your YouTube video click here to subscribe now uh, They're gonna ask you do you want it to appear at the end of your video? Uh, maybe cost at the entire of your video maybe all your video you want it to appear throughout the play of your video or you want to put a particular time it should appear so i can leave it at the end of your video but in this case let me just say it i want it to appear throughout the video right so whichever one you put once you're done with these three things which we are done now we click on publish let's wait for it loading 
now i think it's published already so what we're going to do now is come here and click on basic information that is where you're going to put your description then you're going to put your channel url you can customize this from here then you can also put in your email address the link like add links to sites you want to share with your views and the rest of them so i'm going to quickly do that again and we resume all right so right now i'm done with the uh, basic information i just wrote achievers world is here to help you achieve your journey of making six seven figures with multiple online businesses i will show you i will show you guys hack on blah 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 and then i included my um this is my youtube channel my facebook on that links i put my facebook link and my instagram link then i can put any of them as the one i want to i want them to display on the banner but i don't want to use any one for now then I put my email address here. Once I done, I'm click on publish. So I'm going to hit on publish, and boom, it's published. So our 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 stuff is saved. So right now, I can come here now and go back to layout. Let's check if everything is here. We are yet to upload any video at this time. If I click on view channel, let's see how the channel is going to it's going to look like. You can see our channel is looking so beautiful. This channel is looking...